What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Little Plays. We are back from the episode of Pokemon Luminescent Hardcore Nuzlocke playthrough. Today, we are going to be taking on the third gym leader, which is Fantina. Um, I also did some off-screen, just leveling up people, so uh, everyone in my party and in the box is up to the current level cap, which is 33, so you can see all of our fully formed guys. I decided to evolve my Cubome into a Marowak Alolan and probably whenever wheezing whenever we get wheezing at 35 i'll probably turn this into galarian wheezing um, we also picked up an upgrade in this town so i was able to evolve up my um normal porygon and then of course the rest is just kind of things that we've already seen before but essentially today we're going to quickly get one encounter then we're going to take on the gym trainers and then we're going to take take on the gym leader fantina make sure that you do leave a like on this episode as well as stay subscribed to the channel because we are pushing through for more pokemon luminescent platinum really great game so far as well as i believe we're doing two episodes a week um so make sure you stay tuned for that so um i was doing a little bit off screen exploring and i saw that if whenever we go up here um there's actually a tinkaton and amenity square and they need help catching this thing so we are going to go and catch this guy um who do we want to let walk around let's let beaver walk around i love him oh my god we got all six. Oh my gosh this is so sick that's so sick um but yeah we are able to catch a tink a ton and this just kind of shows uh basically look at my little guys running around this basically shows that they are working on creating a full national dex for this game. So as you can see, uh, what is it, Tinkaton, Tinkatuff? Uh, Tinkaton is added into the game. It's like one of the very few Gen 9 Pokemon, but the idea is that once they get all the models in, once they get all the animations in, they can do all the Pokemon in this game, which is, you know, really, really awesome. And it's obviously just taking them some time. So here we see Tinkatuff, Inkauff. And it's gonna run away from me. Oh well. It's just the internet, man. Internet is dookie today. Yeah. Let me see if I can fix that. Wow, Tinkatuff is the happiness Pokemon. Um. Send him to the box. Let's go ahead and go into the gym. I'm just going to bring this six because I don't really know what these trainers are going to have. So let's just bring these guys. I mean, we have for alligator out front, which is dark type. So uh, blah, 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 use ghost type. Got it. Ooh, big math problems, boys. Yeah, the chibi is kind of interesting. Oh, snap. 3 plus 5 plus 7. 15. What am I? What am I? 3 years old? Come on now. Correct. Absolutely correct. Hit me with some quick maths. What is 12 plus 28, brother? Are we kidding? Are we kidding? Easy 40. Every time. Something slight. Something slight. God damn. They should do like a super hard one. What is three times 13, brother? Oh God, I don't even have to think. Correct. Oh, too easy. Light Burke. It's like this game is made for babies. What was the first room's answer? Pretty sure it was 15. I see uh, Mr. Stormfly and put a 15 in the chat, so. Hey, and look, here's the third gym layer. We didn't even have to face any gym trainers. That's clean, okay. All right. Um. We're doing Fantana right now. So, for YouTube purposes, we're about to take on Fantana. <laughs> um, the squad is as follows. We are leading off with Girl Boss, the Tinka Tough, Sassy Nature to increase our special defense. We have lower speed. Its ability was actually supposed to be Mold Breaker, and then when I PK Hex to check like the ability, it just reset it to Sheer Force, and I can't change it back for some reason. So I guess we're just gonna have Sheer Force. Um, if it's 
I'll, I'll show off whatever variation of the team as soon as we get into the battle, but essentially if it's Sableye, we can thief away its leftovers, and if it's any of the other two leads, we can also set up Stealth Rocks, which is pretty, uh, pretty nice for our team. We are bringing Jaws for Alligator, which is now Water Dark in this game with Muscle Band. Careful Nature, because I don't think I'm going to outspeed anything with Jolly, but we do have Strong Jaw Crunches, which I'm sure will do a hell of a ton of damage, plus I'm running Muscle Band. Then we have Weird Air for Light Screen support with Light Clay, Reflect plus light screen and if i can get this up it's also really good because i have windy the mask rain which is heavily buffed in this game to have high speed high special defense and high special attack we have a calm nature with intimidate and we also are running sticky web core dance bubble beam and baton pass in case we get up enough core dances we can pass it to i'm thinking more likely sylveon um with an extra belt even though it doesn't have a move for every single ghost type Training Kiss or Dazzling Gleam should do a lot of damage because Sylveon is him. Um, plus, with the speed boost that we get for Quiver Dance, we also guaranteed to transfer that Baton Pass over. So that's kind of the idea. And then finally, we have Porygon 2 with Wise Glasses, Calm Nature. This is the main way of dealing with um, every team has a Drift Limb, which is like Flare Boost, plus has Stockpile, plus Strength Sap, which is actually really scary, which I'm hoping Porygon 2 can take on just by throwing out some Discharges and recovering off whatever damage. The drift boom wants to do so that is the team so let's get right into the fights Ooh, that was a nice spin oh ho 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 finally like you have arrived since i came to this region i always try to learn new things they hold contest shows in this city i say to myself and finn i will excel sorry i think she's french right this is why i dress this way sis on performance i never studied french we're gonna challenge her we 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 all right Let's see what team she decides to bring. So far, every gym leader against us has always sent out their ace first. Okay, she actually sends out Sableye this time. So this is actually interesting because there's also two teams that have the same Sableye lead. So for example, team one and team three have the same lead. So I'll just quickly show off. This is what team one looks like. Sableye, Adamant, has all this bullshit, Gengar, with Adrenaline Orb, which I don't really understand. Um, Bennett is actually a normal ghost in this game, very strong physical attacker. Crush Cross seems really scary. Rotom, uh, normal Rotom set, will with Shadow Ball, blah, blah, blah. That Drift Loom, which is really scary, and then Mischievous. So that is team number one that we're going up against. And then for t potentially, I guess, team three, uh, which again, we don't know which is which right of, as of right now, but team three also has a Sableye uh, Let's see if I can show it off Sableye, Gengar, Shedinja, Dusclops, Driftblim, and Miss Magius. That is this squad. So I guess I'll hide I'll show this one and then if it's another one we will change so Again, I think my play is always the safe Safely thief take away its item because Leftovers is really strong. He's going to fake out me. That's totally fine. I don't really give a shit. Um, we'll just Thief again to get rid of his Leftovers. And I don't think he'll knock off me because I don't have an item. Yep, he does decide Shadow Claw. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Like, actually a ton of damage. Um, I am faster than him, funny enough. He could Shadow Claw again. He also has Knock Off, which is kind of bad for my Weird Ear. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Let's honestly just go for a Draining Kiss to get back some health, question mark? He might Knock Off this turn too. And Draining Kiss plus Leftovers should definitely let me live a hit. So we go back up to 61 HP. There is the knockoff, so we're down to 37. I still think we live after I drain and kiss. Or should I try to save this for Stealth Rocks? I think I'm fine just going for a draining kiss, getting off some more chip. And then he's guaranteed to go for a Shadow Claw. Which I could go Jaws. Maybe I should have just went hard Sylveon on that. I can also intimidate him. Go this, and then when knockoff comes in. But I don't. I like my quiver dance strategy, to be honest. So. 
kind of want a journey kiss for more damage. But I feel like that might be the bad play. I feel like... Fuck it, let's do it. Journey kiss. Get off some damage. Taking over half. Nice. We're going to get back to 55. We should live a Shadow Claw. Yes, we do. Uh, now this is honestly a, you know, can be anything kind of hit. I don't like knockoff here. I think Shadow Claw is almost guaranteed. Uh, it could also be Shadow Sneak, actually, because I am faster, which makes me want to go for Ralligator a little bit more. And then I can just. Cr I don't know if Crunch does more, but. He's obviously going for Sneak, right? I could even go Sylveon and then Draining Kiss him. That would also be fine. Let's try that strategy. I think he's going to sneak here because I am faster. The AI is more likely to go for a priority move if you're faster in the net and you're low health. Yep, does go for Shadow Sneak. 115 down to 94 is not bad. We can easily Draining Kiss here and get back all of our HP and I assume kill this thing. Nice. Big. Sableye is now dead. Um, kind of wasted a lot of energy on that. I probably should have just done this earlier because I kind of just wasted HP for no reason. All right, so it is Gengar. Both of them have Gengar. Um, or no, wait. Do both of them have Gengar? Both teams have Gengar? Let's see. Team one. Yep, they both have Gengar. Okay, so one is either Adrenaline Orb or one is one Wise Glasses. Either way, this thing, interestingly, does not have a move to hit me. I'm not seeing a poison type move, which is very interesting. I think he probably just Shadow Balls to do the most damage, and then I could probably go Weirdier, set up a light screen. Set up a light screen and then go Masquerain. Because if this is team one, which is the one that's shown on screen, it's the best opportunity that we get to set up with Masquerade. So I do kind of feel like this is a good idea to just go Weird Ear and set up screens. Let's try it. I do think it's a good idea. Show me Shadow Ball. Wise glasses. Okay, it is it is officially team three. We know that for a fact. We know that for a fact. It is team three. So they do have a Shedinja, which is actually really bad because my Sylveon can't sweep. Um, and neither can my fucking Masquerade. Wait, do I actually have something to kill Shedinja? Fuck me. Oh my god, I only have Feraligator for Shedinja. Oh, shit. That is really, really bad. I definitely, oh, did not think about that. Um, I still feel like Light Screen could be a play here. I feel like it's probably the play. Energy Balls me. 121 down to 74. That's not bad. A Light Screen. And I think we have to make a play here. I don't know who's who he's gonna want to bring in. He's going for energy ball. What if we say fuck it and we still bring this guy in? Sticky web is now completely useless. I should have just brought fucking gust. Um I just don't want him to go to for energy ball again. Uh, let's see, Gengar. I'm interested. Does uh, Gengar? What does more Shadow Ball? Obviously, doesn't hit me. Uh, Giga Drain. Where's energy ball? Energy ball is 90. Dazzling Gleam is 80. Or Psychic. Psychic is also 90, so it could be Psychic. It's either Psychic or Energy Ball. It's actually Guaranteed Energy Ball, isn't it? Yep. 
This is neutral. I can intimidate him and then follow up with a baton pass into for a Ralligator. Actually, it's not a bad play. I don't think I'm sweeping anymore. Unfortunately. This is getting very, very tricky. I think maybe I just stay in and go for a Zen Headbutt. And just kill him. Goes for another energy ball, that's fine. Sending forward down to 48, and we'll pick up a KO. Nice, Gengar's dead. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Gengar is down. Okay, here's fucking Shedinja. Great. I'm pretty sure he sees a kill with x -Scissor. Confuse Ray, Shadow Claw, x -Scissor. Okay, he literally can only go for one move on me, which is x -Scissor. So we know that. Um, ah, shit, I should have set up Reflect. I can go this to Intimidate. He's got to go for x -Scissor, right? So I can go this just for an Intimidate, and then I can Baton Pass. So he's minus one now. x -Scissor, 96 down to 54. Damn. This is a problem. I need to Baton Pass. He... I think... Does Bug resist Bug? Am I tripping right now? Um, x I know is 80 base, right? Shedinja... x is 80. Shadow Claw is... Where's Shadow Claw? Must be a TM. 80 as well. Um, it could be... I'm actually pulling up the type chart right now. So bug on bug is still neutral. So it could be bug or ghost still. It's kind of risky play to make. Bug or ghost. Hmm. Wait, I could also copy his wonder guard. Wait, I can, I can trace his Wonder Guard and then he actually can't do damage to me. Then he might he might actually switch. Is this a stupid play? Because I mean if I go this on X Scissor, it's really, really bad. And then I have to Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I actually go this. I trace his Wonder Guard. Okay, you confused Ray me that's that time. That's totally fine. So now I'm very interested to see if he, you know, he obviously can't hit me now because I have Wonder Guard. So I'm very interested to see if he switches here. I'm going to switch out, go into my Masquerade just to get off another Intimidate. So now he's minus two. He confused right again. Okay, I think we found a little loophole here. This is actually kind of big. Um, because we can get him to minus six. I think we can get him to minus six very easily. Wow, Trace Porygon is super broken for this. Yep. Scissor. So now he should always confuse Ray. So I think I go this again. We get him to minus six. Then I think we could potentially just set up with Masquerade. But then he could also confuse Ray with me. I think we get into minus six and we just bring in for Alligator. x Scissor also has high crit chance, which is kind of scary, but... It's alright. Alright, Porygon in. Trace that Wonder Guard. Shadow Claw. Get got. My Light Screen has gone away, that's fine. We should see another Confuse right here. At this point, I think he's minus four. Confuse Ray. Okay, we found we found the loophole. We absolutely found the loophole, which is sick. Because I think this becomes super free now. The thing that I'm thinking about the most is how can I optimize getting 
Masquerain to get up a Quiver Dance. And then honestly bringing in for Ralligator. And then just spamming Crunch the whole way through. Is what I'm currently thinking. But of course, Dusclops is still a problem in the back. Um... Okay, I think we need one Muller Intimidate, and then we should be good to go. Sorry, I know this is a, probably a little bit tedious, but I think this is a good strategy. And the uh, uh, AI still doesn't want to switch out, so we should just take advantage of this. So I think this is the final Intimidate, probably. I think it is. Um, there's Confuse Ray. Now this should be an attack. Okay. So we'll go Porygon. Then he's going to Confuse Ray. Maybe I go Sylveon and set up a Reflect. Set up a Reflect. Then go... This probably right. I mean, I could always bring back out my Porygon if shit like kind of still hitting the fan, but he should be really low. I don't want him to switch and this become like a problem later. So I do want to go for Alligator and then crunch his ass. So I literally can't do anything else. I could technically go this and thief away his Focus Sash. I don't know if I live a Shadow Claw though. That could be a problem. I think I go here, I reflect, and then I try this strategy, what I'm doing right now. Let's go Sylveon. I should be Confuse Ray, which is fine. We'll throw up our Reflect, so then we have the most, like, beyond optimal chance to kill this thing. Shadow Claws me. Did nothing. We just need to get through one thing and protect. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, so now we double into Porygon 2. Okay. We trace his Wonder Guard. Shadow Claw doesn't affect me. Okay, now he's going to Confuse Ray. I'm gonna go into this, and then I'm gonna Thief. We have Reflect, plus he's like minus six. So as long as I knock on wood, don't hit myself, we should be chilling. I'm going to Thief. Shadow Claw, yep, does nothing. Don't hit yourself. Let's go, girl boss. Delish. Okay. Has his focus sash. That's fine. We don't care. So that's step... That was step one. So now we go back into Porygon Z. Or Porygon 2. And then this time we go into Feraligator. So we take as little damage as we have to on Feraligator. Okay. I reflect is gone. That is annoying. But I think we pull through. I we haven't hit, hit ourselves yet, so I have to say, for alligator, you must pull through here. We could also PP stall this thing, but I think that's kind of tedious. Crunch his ass, boy! Oh, he's faster than me. Oh shit! Okay, if that was a crit, that would have been really bad. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Don't don't you dare. Fuck me. Um. I know I said crits were scary, but I'm not scared. Neither, neither is for alligator. Go ham, go ham, go ham, go ham. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go ham. Go ham. Go ham for alligator. Go ham. Go stupid. Yes, sir. That's why we brought for alligator to take to take literally three X scissors and not get a single hit off. All right, Driplim comes in. What the hell does this thing have? Shadow Ball, Air Slash, Stockpile, and Strength Sap. I think we make the play and just go Porygon. 
I could technically also go into Weird Year. He's gonna get up his Flame Boost though, which is the problem. Um, I'm trying to think what is the best play. Like I could potentially, actually uh, Weird Ear is super free on Dusclops. So if we can try to get in Dusclops, we just get free screens up for the rest of the game. So let's try to save Weird Ear for Dusclops. We're gonna trace his Flare Boost, that doesn't really matter. He actually Air Slashed, okay. Damn, that's some damage. Okay, his Air Slash is gonna do more this time. I'm low-key thinking about recovering. It's not looking good here. I think he easily le lives this discharge, which is a problem. I think we low-key recover once. But it might be night not really be gaining much. And we have chances of flinching. Yeah, this is not looking good. Okay. I do like burn stalling. But he can also just fucking strength at me at any point. Um, Sylveon is pretty decent against this thing, but it's not great. I think we need Porygon. This sun, that seems like such a throw though. He's just spamming, he's spamming Air Slash. I think I need to recover stall into whenever my discharge kills this guy. Let me see how much damage I'm doing. Uh, Fantana, team three. Driplim. Porygon, two. Discharge. Um, says so this is guaranteed two at KO. I think we recover once more. He also could, once I discharge him enough, he might try to spam Strength Zap. Let's try it. Oh, we stockpiled. Oh my god, big brain, big brain. He has now plus one, which means my discharge is not doing that much damage, though. I think this is honestly worse. Pause. Is this worse? Because now, if he strength saps me... On God, I don't see a good way out of this. I think we just need to spam Discharge. He's gonna Strength Zap, right? Yeah, that's fine. I have a shit attack stat, so I don't think he'll gain too, too much from this. It could be wrong. Okay, he gained back a little bit, but we are doing some healthy damage. Oh, that crit. Oh, mwah. Chef's kiss to Porygon 2. That is so fucking good. Oof. Yo, when the prep is bad, you just gotta... You just gotta have good Pokemon, what can I say? Alright, Dusclops comes in. Um, he's gonna exert some pressure on us. We don't give a fuck. We just go hard into Randy. Hard Randy so we can get up the screens. This Eevee Light cannot touch me except for Will-O-Wisp. Which is totally fine. He's gonna Pain Split. I think that gives me health. Oh my god. Get absolutely shit on. How do I want to do this? Thinking about his movesets, um, I mean, he really can't touch me at this point. I could reflect and then maybe go Masquerade and try to Cobra Dance on him. And then go... I feel like that's probably a fair play. Let's try that. Let's go for a Reflect. He's probably going to Willow me. Okay, Pain Splits again. That's fine. Let's try this, because I think... Loki, if he Pain Splits, we gain back HP. Dusclops does have low HP, though, so... Intimidate. Sucker Punches, okay. Clever Dance up once. 
see how well we take a shadow punch. This is minus one, plus we have reflect up. Shadow punch, nice, that did nothing. Let us quiver again. So now we're plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. Let's go windy. Okay, pain split, giving me health. Nice, okay, this is super free. Quiver dance up. We just have to be careful of when our reflect goes away, as well as crits. I think so far so good. Um, I think it's kind of greedy to try to keep going for like plus a million. So I think this turn I should baton pass. I think this is a fair play to make. I'm gonna be plus three special defense on my Sylveon and then I can just spam Draining Kiss or Dazzling Gleam. Okay, he is gonna gain health from that, it's fine. I can also set up another light screen on this if I really, really care, but I don't think I do. I think I just want to go for the damage. Especially if he is going to pain split. Yeah, I'll just Draining Kiss once and then go for a Dazzling Gleam after. <laughs> you want me to? You wanted me to Quiver Dance more? I feel like that that is just asking for a uh, a crit to happen. Wow, that why did that do nothing? Wait, hold up. Why did that do nothing? Dazzling Gleam damage? Why am I doing like absolutely no damage? Okay, maybe I should have. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have Quiver Dance. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, this is fine. I think this is still fine. Like, it's bad. But I think we kill him here, right? Bro, this is insane. Oh my god. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. Um, I think we just pick him off with the Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Alright, Miss Magius is the final Pokemon. Okay, so... I am plus three. I feel like there's no way I ever die here. The problem is, I don't know whether Dazzling Gleam or Draining Kiss is the right play. I do feel like Draining Kiss is better because I gain back HP and it helps me win the 1v1. But like, what if he just fucking Hyper Beams me? Sylveon. I am a calm, Calm Sylveon. My HP is 115. That logic doesn't make much sense to me. Oh, I guess I do have IVs. 115, okay. What is my special defense stat? 107, okay, okay, okay. Pretty good, and I have plus three. Does any move kill me? Um, max roll is 19, and it's the same as Shadow Ball and Hyper Beam. So, 19. I think we're okay to Draining Kiss once. We will always outspeed him. Mmm, delish. Okay, show me some good health. Yes, okay, big, 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 big. Holy shit, he actually went for Hyper Beam. Yo, that animation is crazy. Oof, that made me drop like a bajillion frames, but that was sick. Alright, Draining Kiss again. Boom, Budhead. Defeated A. Hey, can I say, first gym leader that we did not take a death, and it's only gonna improve from here, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, Stormfine? Yeah, bro, we just... Dude, you missed it all, man. You missed such a good fight. All right, I am dumbfounded. So very strong, you and your Pokemon are so very strong. Give me that gym badge, baby. Hey, don't don't look at the rusty ones. We're not gonna talk about that. Got Wendy's. Ooh, Wendy sounds. Wendy sounds like it's hitting right now. Is the chat box not open? Oh, maybe it's not. 
Yeah, let's drag it. I don't know where the chat box is anymore. Anyway. Alright, we obtain stickers. We get TM30, which I'm pretty sure is Shadow Ball. Alright. Bet, bet, bet. Go. Um. Notifications. Oh, seems like we're good. Okay, bet. Well, that was big. That was actually huge. Easy dubs. Easy dubs. Oof. I think. Um, we are obviously going to keep on streaming, but probably for the YouTube video, because I'm going to crop this, turn it into a YouTube video to post on the YouTube channel. Um, for people that are on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out more of the Pokemon Luminous and play Platinum playthrough, as well as check out twitch.tv slash plays, and we'll see you YouTube people on the next one. Peace.